Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel here today to get to what we have been waiting for for a little bit here now. I've decided to take my time here this time uh, compared to previous Maddens where I sort of made my decision somewhat earlier in July um, this year. decided to take my time, sort of wait as long as I felt I needed to wait to sort of make the decision on where we're going to go with our Madden 22 franchise. And it's one of those things where, you know, there's a lot of options for us, I think, this year. And we're going to go down them here by a little bit. And, uh, you know, there was a lot of teams that I thought were very good options. Number one, the Carolina Panthers. I thought that was a really decent option. I thought... Um, it's a team that still needs to be built up, but I feel like there's a lot of talent on that team that's ready to really break out. Uh, some young players, probably just a quarterback away. Uh, that could be Sam Darnold, I don't know, but you have guys like Kristen McCaffrey. You have a decent enough receiving core, I think. Some interesting edge guys, so I decided to, decided to go against that. Then, the Detroit Lions... Probably going to be one of the worst teams in the NFL. But I just don't... After I did the Raiders franchise last year, I don't want to do a dome team. I, I don't think I ever want to do a dome team. Um, it just doesn't seem like that much fun. It's not that much fun doing a dome team because every game sort of just feels the same because you're in a dome. I know that might sound weird. Uh, it sounds like a really superficial reason not to go with a team, but that's what it is. The Texans... Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that team. I think they're probably going to be bad as well, but the Sean Watson thing just makes it so weird. And there's another team on this list that sort of gets affected by that as well. Um, I really thought maybe that could be an option if they get a trade done soon, but I don't think a trade's going to happen. I don't think this guy, I don't, I don't even think Sean Watson's even going to be a playing this year i don't i mean i just don't know that's such a weird situation really awkward you know 22 allegations of the stuff he's alleged to have done is disgusting so probably gonna avoid that um you know when i even get into madden 22 i'm not 100 sure if i'm not just gonna nerf that guy's ratings and just take him out the game because i just don't want to see him uh that's just some disgusting stuff there with him so team number four that I thought about the, the New York Jets and I was really going to lean towards the Jets maybe if Zach Wilson's ratings was like maybe like a 73 72 but it's more of a 75 and take a look at his ratings he looks pretty usable right out the gate and so I think that was just make things way too easy there's some decent weapons on that team I think so I'm not going to go with the Jets another team on here was the Eagles and this was a team that I up until a few weeks ago, I really had them penciled in, like, we're probably going to be doing the Eagles. That, uh, that was sort of what I thought. And, you know, that really didn't work out either, you know. Uh, I had just a lot of ideas. I had some thumbnails already made for doing an Eagles franchise. But uh, I then decided that wasn't going to work. So then went away from that. And then... Unironically, the last team on this list, this is going to be our franchise team. This was a team that I had thought about, you know, way back um, when the beta came out. And I sort of played a few games with them. And I thought, yeah, I think this could be the team that could be our franchise team. And then I thought about all these other teams. But now seeing the rating for the quarterback of this team, some of the other ratings on this squad, I'm comfortable making this decision and that decision is going to be for our madden 22 franchise team it's going to be the pittsburgh steelers so i think this is a team that could be really interesting you can hear my neighbors just playing really loud music because i don't know if you can hear that i have no idea i always mention i mention stuff that you might be able to hear in the background and then like i go through the corner then you can't hear it so i don't know if you can hear that but yay they want to play music loud because you know no one else wants to relax on a saturday evening no y'all want to listen to what you want to listen to rant over on that 
the Pittsburgh Steelers, like I said, I think is a team. This is probably Ben Roethlisberger's last season as quarterback, I think. Or at least with the Madden Sim Engine, it'll probably be. Um, I think I can, you know, I'm almost positive he's not going to be back next season. But maybe he will be, so I don't know. But this is a team that I think is really interesting. They've sort of capped themselves out a little bit. Uh, keeping him around, sort of just allowing him to just stay. And it's not, you know, I know that Steelers fans and Roethlisberger fans will sort of say, no, he's played great. Look at these numbers. He's played, but you watch him play and it's, the offense is very limited. I know Steelers fans like to blame, you know, their offensive coordinators and things like that. You know, it's the coordinator's fault. He's calling all these sh short plays and stuff like, yeah, they're calling all these short plays because Ben can't push the ball down the field consistently, accurately. That's why, you know, they call all these short plays and you have these receivers that, you know, sort of, you know, these are outside guys mostly, I think. These are guys who would be real good outside receivers and instead they have to sort of play this short yardage game because you have a quarterback in Ben Roethlisberger that just can't wing the ball like he used to. Doesn't really have much escapability from the pocket. The offensive line is a big red flag on this team. So I think that's, once again, that's one of the things that sort of drew me to this team. I think an offensive line that's lost pieces over the past few years. So you sort of have a situation where you don't really know if that offensive line is going to be able to hold up, not only just for Ben, but for now the running game when they drafted Najee Harris, when really there was a lot of other needs on that team. This team isn't a running back away. This is a team that sort of is flying in the face of all logic, I think, and doesn't realize they need to go through a rebuild here. And I think they're still trying to compete on a budget, possibly. And so I think that's what makes this team very, very interesting um, as a franchise team. And I, and I think one of the other things that I thought about, too, maybe this is a good thing, maybe it's not, I don't know, but I felt like there's not going to be a lot of people doing Steelers franchises. You know, that's not like a sexy name, if you will. I think it's a team that's a little bit out there, a little bit out on the beaten path a little bit. And I think a lot of people are probably going to be doing Panthers franchises with Sam Darnold. A lot of people are going to be doing Lions franchises. A lot of people are going to be doing Texans and the Jets and the Eagles. So I think those will be the more popular teams you actually see in franchises on YouTube. So I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do a team that was a little bit different kind of to myself maybe maybe i'm wrong maybe a lot of other people are thinking about doing the steelers and i, I don't know this but maybe more people are, are, me and them are having a lot of parallel thinking but i just look at it and i say i think this is a team that not a lot of people are going to do not a lot of people are going to you know first choice going to be the pittsburgh steelers because uh, we think of the city we think oh yeah they're like going to be a contender every year but i i don't know if that's the case i know they went like 10 and 0 i don't know if that's actually the steelers that team that went, you know, what was it, 9 and 0, 10 and 0. I don't know if that's the actual Steelers teams because a lot of those games, man, they were just ugly and close. I mean, those were some of the most ugly football games I think you ever saw teams play. So, um, I think this is a team that that's a really good choice. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, the game when I played the beta, I played a game against the Packers and it was like a sloppy game, you know, it was like 14 to 20 or something like that. I I won but like it was like that sort of game and I was like yeah I think this could be fun for a franchise I think that's something that drew me to that team back drew me to this team back then so I think that's sort of my mindset here uh, I think I want a team that's you know I think a sort of stealth like bad team I think the Steelers could be like a stealth like not good team and I don't think a lot of people are going to think about that also as you get into this here I know a lot of other people are going to be waiting to start their franchises until that scouting update comes out. If by the time the game actually comes out, we're like two weeks away, we don't have like a hard date on when that actually update's actually going to come. I don't know if it's going to be like the first update. If it is, depending on how far we're in, I'll just like force win the games and then we'll have the actual scouting update. But like, I, I'm probably not going to wait for that update. I don't know when that update's going to come. I don't necessarily show a lot of scouting in my franchise videos as is, so I'm not overly concerned about the scouting update personally. So, 
there it is. Laid everything out on the table for you. I somehow managed to talk for like 10 minutes or something that only took like 30 seconds really. Just like, hey, there's your reason for franchise. So if you watch this whole thing, I want to thank you. Uh, and uh, be on the lookout for Madden franchise videos for Madden 22 here. I believe August 10th, I think, is the first day of the EA play. It's either the 10th or the 12th, not 100% sure. But yeah, that's when the Madden 22 EA play uh, trial starts. And that's probably when I'll start, I'll cr start cracking in, in this game and start getting right into franchise. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to hit like, be sure to hit subscribe. Come back for Madden 22 Pittsburgh Steelers franchise. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.